Hi, I'm Matt. GitHub username is cole-e, which is, you know, just apply my name, Matt Coley. And I wanted to give a update on Recaf. The last major version of Recaf in the 2x series was released a whole year ago now. It's currently March of 2023, and the last release was in March of 2022. To answer any questions regarding what we've been doing and is there a new update, yes, there is a new update coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. But if you are impatient, you can go to the releases and click on this link here that says there's a new 3x snapshot. If you click that and then look at the releases for this, you will see that there are snapshots being made for the 3x series, but you, you'll see that they're still a bit out of date. So what's going on? There's all these new features that you're working on. So where, where the, it's March of 2023. How are there no releases from 2023? And answer to that question is, Recap 3x wasn't good enough. I want to expand Recap to even wider audiences. And to do that, we got to look at more than just Java. I'm not saying we're going to support, you know, like crazy stuff like C-sharp. No, no, no. Recap is still going to be the modern bytecode editor for Java. But it's going to be the modern Java reverse engineering suite. I, I Suite doesn't really make sense because it's like one tool. But anyways, point being, I'm looking at adding Android support. I'm looking at adding more types of Java inputs. Spring Boot is an example that people have had issues with because there's jar files instead of jar files. The jar file format is updated. You can now have multiple versions of a class inside of the same jar. And Recap just doesn't support those yet. So the issue with that is rewriting the internal logic that affects everything that's in the UI, which means there's a lot of rewriting that needs to happen. And then I had people telling me that they wanted better plugins and scripting support. And I honestly agree the, the way that we've handled that so far hasn't been great, which leads us to recap four, which I have open here. You can see four X snapshot. Now there's not as much in the UI yet as there is in the three X snapshots. That's just because I started this two and a half months ago, but believe me, the backend changes are immense and very valuable. This will be the last major version of Recap released, as far as I can tell. <laughs> uh, but the workspace model is changed to support all of the cases I just covered. The plugin system is being mostly kept the same, but the way that we expose APIs is totally different. And it's going to allow people to make plugins and scripts that are long-term sustainable and not subject to random breakage when we change internal logic, because that's how everything used to work. Your plugins would just be using internal logic that we just let you use, but that is not going to be the case moving forward. We're going to dedicate work on maintaining a proper API with interfaces you can use, and they will be easy to access from the user standpoint of a plugin or a script. It would take a whole ass video to get into all the new features and specifics, but this is the announcement. There is a lot of changes coming and they're going to be really, really good when they're finally here. So forgive me if things are taking a long time, but I just want to make sure that Recap is as good as it can possibly be for as many people as possible. So yeah, thanks. And I guess this is the end of the video. If you want to contribute, please let me know what your use cases are, what features you want to see in Recaf, if there's there any user interface things you'd find useful. I can't do everything, but I want to just get as much perspective as possible so that when I design things, you can mold Recaf to what you want it to be. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Thanks. And I'll make another video later, I guess. Bye.